I just finished the repair of uh, this nice uh, small spectrum. Okay, this is not the smallest one because this is already a toast track. If you don't know what does it mean toast track, so there was the original spectrum and I have one here. So this one. And there was the plus. It had no cooling board, something like that here, so it was a bit shorter. And this one is the 128. So this is expanded, the memory is expanded to 128K. And at the same time, it got this PSG, which is an additional sound chip. So what was the problem? Uh, originally, this machine had just lines, so black and white lines, thick lines. Uh, I hope I made a picture about it that I can show you. And then it was not working. Mm, but before I got these lines, I always start with the yeah, the memory test is just running, sorry for the beeps. So, I always start with the, the power. So, unfortunately, what happened, this little guy, so this is the 5 volt stabilizer, it, uh, it was dead, and it just bypassed the, the incoming 9 volt. So, 9 volt went to all the circuits. So, this is where I started the test. So I always disorder this 5 volt and measure, I put there some kind of uh, few resistors to have some load on it and then measure the, the voltage. And uh, so it was the first one I replaced. Then I always suspect if it is going south, this one, so which is this small circuit here is making the plus and the minus 12 volts. So most of the time it is just as well as dying at the same time. So I replaced this transistor. Fortunately, I found the last one which can substitute this transistor. Uh, and after that, uh, it was good to go. I mean, I had 5 volt, uh, stable 5 volt, 12 volts. I could measure 12 volts here and the minus 12. So yeah, it was the point where I got the the bars, okay, let me remove this one and the beep will, will go. So, uh, what happened, I started, first of all, what can go wrong? To be honest, anything and everything. Most of the time, just the, the memories. Uh, the original Spectrum has uh, 16K, so 16 kilobit memories. Those are very sensitive. These ones are these uh, 61, 64s. These are not as sensitive, so most of the time they they are just blowing one or, or another. But in this case, they are like if you if you touch them, you can you can figure out which one is is gone. Uh, yeah, it was not a problem. So then I replaced this one, the the Ula. I have another one, so I just swapped them. I put here a socket, but it was fine. So it was it was not a it was not bad. The next one was the CPU because uh, there was no M1. So there is a there is a, a pin M1 pin which is active only when the CPU is loading some kind of instruction. So if you check that it is not in halt state and there, if you check that it is not in halt or uh, it is not in, in reset. There should be an M1 and as well as some address. Uh, it was not the case, so I socketed this one and I replaced the CPU. And this is where the story went south. So what I observed, the A A10, so this little pin, it was always on zero. So it was always on the ground. So I checked the, the diodes, shorts, and then there are two other circuits connected to to this uh, pin, the PCF and the ROM. So the ROM was the easy one, disordered, socketed, exchange with the other one, mm. it was not the case, so I went for the PCF, I replaced this one, and still nothing. After some head scratching, I figured out that I have even more. So do not trust the new old stock Chinese. 
Yeah, let me let me remove the power before I put it here. So, as you can see, this one is zero zero forty three. This one is the original, so this one is for sure blown. And there is another new old stock. 0043. So this one, which came from the same tube as this one, this one is also bad. So I disordered this and this and resucketed just for fun. Let me record uh, the test screen. And, well, right now we have a working spectrum. I just need to clean it up a little bit because it's dirty. But otherwise, this one is a working new guy. So, as you can see, in the meantime, I just switched to the, to the memory test. Everything is fine or, well, not everything because the keyboard is not working. It requires a new keyboard uh, membrane. I think that's it for today. I deserve my lunch. Goodbye.